Hello, we're Nicolas Pielewski and Elisabeth Wetzer. And this is the presentation of our paper Comia, Contrasted Multimodal Image Representation for Registration. Our motivation is based on multimodal image registration, which aims to find a suitable transformation to align two images which are captured by two different sensors and hence can be of very different appearance. Here, for example, we have two images from the same tissue, but which are unaligned and imaged by two types of microscopes. So in this case, we have one bright field microscopy image and one second harmonic generation image. As this task is very challenging, sometimes even impossible, we use contrastive learning to create image-like representations called comirs, which you can see here. These representations can then be registered using classic monomodal registration methods, which can be either intensity-based or feature-based. So our method is using a contrastive loss, which is based on info and CE. It trains on aligned image pairs of the different modalities and then produces image-like dense representations, which can be further equipped with equivariant properties without any additional hyperparameters. We shown an aerial data set that rotation equivariance can be achieved with our method, meaning that the features generated in the commires are rotating according to the orientation of the input. Here we show a stabilized view of the input and commires. The polar plot also demonstrates that the correlation between commires with rotated and unrotated inputs is stable and close to 100% for all angles. This important property allows us to register a pair of images using classical monomodal registration algorithms, here alpha AMD. The left side shows the process of the commires being registered and the transformation found is then used to align the multimodal images on the right-hand side. In summary, we can generate image-like representations which are modality-independent and easily equipped with equivariant properties, rotational equivariance in our case. When using data augmentation, very little data is needed, a single image can be enough. The method is also fast, both during training and inference, enabling the use of our method on computers which do not have access to a GPU, as for example in a clinical setting. Thanks for your attention. You can contact us on those email addresses or find the source code of the project on our GitHub page.